it was the year 2017 when I found it in the basement of my dad's store, still wrapped from its highly anticipated 2008 release. The game, not only being extremely offensive and mechanical garbage, was laying there. Little did I know of this racism and mechanical garbage. All I saw was toboggans of doom, and I was instantly hooked. Little did I know what was in store for me. This is when Matt and I decided to take on the adventure of Tobacco's of Doom with a rocking score of 4.7 on Board Game Geek. We knew we were in for a party. This is my Toboggans of Doom review. You filming already? Yeah, boy! So today we have the unboxing of possibly the greatest game ever made. Tornadoes of Doom. Tornadoes? It's toboggans. It's especially offensive to just about everyone. And it's only ages 8 and up. And it has high luck factors, moderate strategy, and some difficulty. That's... That's the best part of a game you can ever get, in my opinion, is high luck factor. I'm all about word, that RNG Word, word, mad word. Alright, let's... Are you ready to go? Let's grind into it. Oh, baby. Hell yeah, dude. I kind of want to see, like, the Board Game Geek-like page on this, just to, like, they can... no number one on every genre. Oh, go. shit, what up? How old is this game? Dude, I don't know. I found it in the store's basement. That's because that's some pretty uh, stiff yeah, shrink wrap. Yeah, it's old. It's been. I'm assuming it didn't get sold, so it's just down there for a very long time. No, I wonder why it didn't get sold. Maybe yeah. it's the Confederate flag yeah, on maybe the back. Maybe it's the Confederate flag on the back. I hope this game isn't like. Oh my god. It's just gonna turn to dust. When <laughs> it's we it. Oh wow! Look at this rule book. So thick, BB. What <laughs> the text? Nice font, bro. Hell yeah, at least it's not Comic Sans. Alright. dice. We got some... Yeah, this is some old... Very old gel. This is some old shrink wrap. Some very old shrink wrap. Uh, let's see if there's still a year in here. That was the latest unboxing ever. That was a pretty bad unboxing. Okay, so, um, before I get into the review, I'm gonna talk about the parts of the game and stuff. I don't even want to take the game out because I just like hate touching it so much. It just makes me like uncomfortable. Um, maybe it's just because the game is old. It's definitely probably part of it. But the tiles are like cardboard and they're really gross. And like the, the entire game is just not appealing um, at all. Like, And it's not even like a meme. It's literally just it's bad. Um, I don't like it at all. They could have used cards. It would have been so much easier. I guess the... It, actually, it's not that bad, but they definitely should have made the upgrades cards, and I think that would have saved money for the production, too, and uh, since it's so old, it was just, like, really gross to touch, and the, yeah, basically the components are pretty, pretty horrible. It comes with, uh, dice, which was really dumb because the dice don't match the mechanics very well at all, so, yeah, um, overall their components are, like, pretty bad. Okay, so the setup is relatively simple. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna throw down these obstacle tiles into uh, three rows and take out 12 um, upgrade tiles. So the setup isn't that bad. The, the game's looking pretty promising so far, I would say. Okay, so the gameplay takes place in two rounds. The buy round and then the run round. The buy round is basically a mechanic that most people have seen before, where you have a resource, you buy things, and then you're going to use those things later in the game, yada yada yada. This game uses dice as that, as that resource, so you're going to roll all different types of dice, or die, going from a d4 to a d20, so uh, d4, d6, d8, d10, d12, and a d20. Then you can buy things according to the number on the bottom left corner of their card that are associated with numbers that you can roll. 
Um, it's actually really bad because the problem is the numbers make no sense according to what you roll. So let's say it's t like an 8. You can only roll 8 on like a few dice, right? Because you can roll one on a d8, but that's only still like a one eighth of a chance. So let's just say you don't roll an eight. Let's say you roll like a seven. You're always going to use the same dice in order to get that, and it's really dumb because it basically makes your d20, d12, d10 useless because you can never actually add up to the numbers that you're going to buy from because they're always low numbers. And how am I supposed to roll that number on a d20? Now, obviously, they aren't that stupid because they made uh, cards that you could just throw away your D20 for a card. So it says, instead of a, like a dollar sign and a number, it just says D6, D8, D12, take it. Which is a just horrible mechanic because the problem there is it's completely more cost efficient to just get rid of one die to buy that card and just keep spending those. And to make it worse, on the last buy, you can throw away as many dice as you want and buy anything. So basically, you can just throw away one die at a time until you have one left, then buy whatever you want. It's really bad. Like, it, at least in my opinion, maybe I'm missing something, maybe I'm over-criticizing it, I don't know, but Matt and I both agreed that it was pretty horrible. So here is an example of that gameplay going on right here. And this is the first time we did it, so maybe we're a little confused. But, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the buying gameplay. And I'll get to the run part of it later. Uh, drop those two and pick up that. Right. There's 12 new cards. Oh, no. Wait, did these get wiped? No. Oh, they, they stay. stay. <laughs> So we had four, so we want 16. The picking system is horrible, dude. Like, because there's so the numbers are all over the place. Where's the meta? The meta is non-existent. <laughs> Let's get yeah. right into the new... Alright. Alright, I'll drop eight. I have Let's better things to say about Balloon Lagoon. I do too. Balloon <laughs> Lagoon, I actually had a good time playing. Oh, wait, D6? What? Or I thought it was a D8. Yeah, no, my dude. I guess I'll just do the duck and weave. I don't know how that's an upgrade. Drop, drop. Wall jump? Is that supposed to be like Lord of the Rings? Like I don't think so. Or like that Avatar episode? I love this game. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I wonder what 12 are going to come out this round. <laughs> oh, but what are you trashing these for? These are still in play. So the next part of the game is the run part, where you are using the cards you picked up from the picking phase and trying to get through as much of the slope, I guess, as possible. Now, the problem here, in my opinion, is that it's really just rolling dice, and it's not even fun. Like... I feel like the designers of this game, they had this really fun theme idea, Toboggans of Doom, really hooks you in, you're like, wow, this game's gonna be really bad and stupid. But like Matt said, uh, in a, you might say it here, or say it in a previous clip, or, or I don't know, I don't even know what I edited at this point, but basically, like, it seems like they try to make a game that's like, oh, it's so bad, but you want to play it because it's so bad. But in this case, it's just bad. Like, it's not fun because all you're doing is rolling dice, but you have to think about what dice you have to roll, kind of. It's, like, really annoying. Um, obviously, if we played it more, I think that would have changed, but honestly, it was not appealing. I don't want to play it again. It's definitely not worth my time to play again. But, yeah, like... Not to get too reviewery already, but basically you're trying to get your thing down the slope as much as possible, and depending on what type of card you are currently on, like a through or an over or under, you're going to want to roll in between two numbers or over a number or under a no number on a certain die. It's a pretty boring mechanic that really I n no one cares about, and I honestly hate it, <laughs> not to be too awful, but like... I'm not a big fan of it, and it's really just not fun. So here are a few clips from that. Play once you know the. I'm going on the right side. 
a, a mad scientist university. D8 or D10. Okay, I'm gonna now, choose. I'm trying to I get choose. blue. I choose. Wait, wait, wait. So that's under. You want to get on the score or under. I so oh. I'm going to roll that D8. Okay. You have to get a two or under. What the f <laughs> Dude, I don't know. What am I supposed to use? My precision steering. Bow. Wait, what's, it, what's your precision steering it's do? It's a two. Just, for, just two? Yeah, for under. All right. Yeah. So you get to go to the next one. You get a point. Wow. Viking opera. So it's a through, a 10, and a 14. So you have to roll between the 10 and a 14. Oh. On a through. On a, but I have to pick a thing, right? Yeah. Okay, this is really dumb. Can I just use my quake rocket jump? Well, it's not between the 10 and the 14 because it's a 9. Oh, right. D8 or... I think you have to use your D10 plus your D4. No, I can use this. And hope for I get a... <laughs> no, you get a 10? Oh, D10 plus D4? Yes. I guess I'll do that. And then that's the only time you can use it this turn. How the fuck am I supposed to get to the end if I can proc like two things a turn? Oh, would you look at that? I guess I'm gonna re-roll any roll. <laughs> oh, it? I made it! Oh, uh, yeah, you did! Enemy you get another point. Kill. You get another point, and these two are procced. Oh, are we actually tapping them like this is magic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I good? Should I... Wait, am I... I'm allowed to switch uh, lanes now, right? No, you have to go through that first. Through what? You didn't get this done! Oh, traffic jam, D6. And you have to roll it under, so I'm rolling that D6. I don't understand why... You have to roll a two or an under. What the hell? This game is so bad. Like, why would you ever choose a D10? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> what strategy am I missing? Okay, so Is this I... to just teach kids the value of dice? Like, what God. is this? All right, well, I guess I'm going to roll the D8 or D10, and I guess I'm going to roll an 8. Why don't you just take your 5 right there? Oh, never mind. I'm dumb, yeah. Yeah, you clearly don't understand the strategy or meta of this game. Are you kidding and me? And your Allison? fucking runs over. This is so dumb. We're we're 66% through this game, and we haven't made it first the first round. Oh, uh, we're going to see about that, because I have 9 resources at my disposal. The game designers are just like... You clearly aren't picking efficiently enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically my overall thoughts about the game, um, which I've already kind of expressed, but um, definitely not a huge fan of this game. Uh, one of uh, a very few games that I've actually like played and just straight up like not enjoyed and not liked. Um, I think it's pretty bad. There's a lot of mechanical things I don't like about it, like the dive rolling that is kind of dumb just for points which obviously is a, a main mechanic in many games but here it just feels so useless um, because the cards you're using for it are just bought so poorly it's literally 100% luck I guess there's strategy as to what you can buy but even then it's kind of dumb because what you can buy is determined by dice so there's like a lot of luck in it which is obviously the point it's obviously just for a good time uh, or whatever, but there's so many other games you can play just for a good time than this thing and feel rewarded for having just a good time instead of whatever this is. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna leave some funny clips after this. Um, I know this isn't the most in depth review ever, but um, yeah. This game, we're, we're like just so happy with each card they made, but like, <laughs> this is such a gamer card! <laughs> No, the people. This is only a game nerds will get. <laughs> See, like I got like portable hole, and it's dropping in <laughs> companion cube. I feel like they were thought that. I feel like they thought they were what? so clever making this game. That's copyright, dude. You can't do that. And like Quake Rocket Jump, you can. Uh, Quake was, was a very very popular FPS back in the day, and Rocket Jump was a, a serious tactic in it. So oh that's why, my god! That's why I feel like this is like only. Only nerds will be able to understand the high caliber <laughs> game we have put forth. <laughs> no wonder this game was left in the basement to rot. <laughs> what if, like, this is the start of one of those horror movies where it's like. We're gonna have to break <laughs> down <and> some bomb, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Alright, 16 minus a d12. 
a d6 or a d10 to get below, what do you want me to do, my dude? I'll roll the d10. I want to see where this is going to go. Six. Okay. So I, I'm going to choose my d8. All right. Reroll for me. Oh, it's a six, yeah. I'll reroll. Oh, thank God. All right, I, I get. See how all right, so I. I get points for that. And you get like fifteen points. Two points. I get two points for making the first break. Oh my God! And I'm first get, blood. And I'm gonna get. Watch one, out, Faker. And I'm gonna get one point, for. A real a point, a card. This game isn't snowballing. Oh, uh, you can do a D twelve or a four. And we have to. You have to get under. Under. Why is that even an option? I don't understand. Is there some strategy I'm missing? I don't think so. It's available to me anymore. I'll reroll it. Oh, all right, no, all right, my run, my run is is no. done. No, no, no. My run's done. All right, we have to go through another goddamn turn of this thing. Do you want to just call it? Do you want to just no, call it right no, here? No, no, we're gonna finish this game. All right, roll, break up twelve more upgrades. <laughs> Hell yeah! Run? No, we shouldn't. We should just call it a W for me. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care. Alright, cool. sucks anyway. <laughs> it even says on the back, it's only four... Four... It has a four luck Random. rating. Out of what? <laughs> <It's> so uh, sick! <laughs> 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 it's supposed to be out of like... Oh no, it's... What, like out of six? Because it's like... A, a dice, die, but no like, piece. but like a four wouldn't be high. That would be like medium. That would be slightly above average. <laughs> like, I hate this game. It's it's only a little bit less luck. You know, like, you know who would love only, this game? It's only a little bit less strategy than it is luck. 